Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. The U.S. military operates advanced stealth aircraft designed to evade enemy radar and detection. These aircraft have reduced radar cross-sections, advanced avionics, and are pivotal in air superiority, ground attack, and strategic bombing roles. Today, we want to show you the eight best stealth aircraft built in the U.S. F-117A Nighthawk the F-117A Nighthawk stealth fighter attack aircraft was developed by Lockheed Martin after work on stealth technology and the predecessor test demonstrator aircraft Half Blue was carried out in secret from 1975. Development of the F-117A began in 1978 and it was first flown in 1981, but it wasn't until 1988 that its existence was publicly announced. The Nighthawk was the world's first operational stealth aircraft. The mission of the aircraft is to penetrate dense threat environments and attack high-value targets with high accuracy. The Nighthawk has been in operational service in Panama, during Operation Desert Storm in Kosovo, in Afghanistan, and during Operation Iraqi Freedom. The Nighthawk is only used for nighttime missions. The surfaces and edge profiles are optimized to reflect hostile radar into narrow beam signals directed away from the enemy radar detector. All the doors and opening panels on the aircraft have sawtooth forward and trailing edges to reflect radar. The Nighthawk can carry a range of tactical fighter ordnance in the weapons bay, including the BLU-109B low-level laser-guided bomb, GBU-10 and GBU-27 laser-guided bomb units, Raytheon AGM-65 Maverick and Raytheon AGM-88 Harm air-to-surface missiles. The Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird The Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird is a two-seat, twin-engine, long-range supersonic strategic reconnaissance aircraft produced by the American manufacturer Lockheed Corporation. The SR-71 entered service in 1966 and 30 aircraft were built. The SR-71 was the world's fastest and highest flying conventional aircraft. It was a truly extraordinary machine, designed for the strategic reconnaissance role with a mass of sensors, including advanced synthetic aperture radar system or the iTech camera that could scan the horizon on each side of the flight path, and two pre-programmable high-resolution cameras. Nicknamed Blackbird for its special overall color scheme that helped dissipate heat and absorb enemy radar emissions. This aircraft was flying three times the speed of sound in a severe thermal environment created due to air friction. The stealthy airframe was designed for a crew of two, a pilot and systems operator, and minimum drag and was therefore evolved with a very slender fuselage and thin wings of delta platform blended into a fuselage by large chines that generated additional lift, prevented the pitching down of the nose at higher speeds, and provided additional volume for sensors and fuel. The airframe was built largely of titanium and stainless steel to deal with the high temperatures created by air friction at the SR-71's Mach 3 cruising speeds at heights of over 14 miles, or 21 kilometers. At top speeds, the surface of the plane would heat up to 300 degrees Celsius, and temperatures inside the cabin could reach 120 degrees Celsius. It was indeed an extreme machine for the pilots to fly. The B-2 Spirit The black, bat-like B-2 Spirit was the silver bullet of U.S. policy reserved for use against targets of the highest priority. It was developed as a low-observable strategic bomber for the Cold War mission of attacking Soviet strategic targets. The bomber has a minimal IR signature, does not contrail, and uses its shielded APQ-181 radar only momentarily to identify a target just before attacking. The glass cockpit is usually flown by a crew of two. The aircraft has a quadruplex redundant digital fly-by-wire system and a highly advanced classified electronic warfare system. The USAF had originally wanted 132 aircraft, but funding restrictions have seen the fleet completed with just 21 aircraft. The B-2 made its combat debut over Kosovo in 1999, employing the Joint Direct Attack Munition, or JDAM, and other weapons to great effect. 
Originally, the B-2 was intended to carry 16 AGM-129 ACM air-launched cruise missiles. It was the first stealthy cruise missile. It had a range of around 1,864 miles or 3,000 kilometers and was fitted with a variable yield 5 to 150 kiloton nuclear warhead. This missile was developed out of concern that a stealthy bomber needs a stealthy missile in order to be effective against the most advanced Soviet air defense systems. Currently, the B-2 bomber can carry 16 AGM-158A JASM and improved AGM-158B JASM ER air-launched cruise missiles. Other weapons carried by the B-2 include thermonuclear freefall bombs, penetration bombs, guide bombs, as well as AGM-154C JSAL precision glide bombs. F-22 Raptor The F-22 Raptor is an advanced tactical fighter aircraft developed for the U.S. Air Force. It entered service with the USAF in December 2005 to replace the F-15, with emphasis on agility, stealth, and range. In April 2009, production of the F-22 fighter jet was officially terminated when Defense Secretary Robert Gates announced the Pentagon would end the Lockheed Run F-22 program and increase the production of the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. The last produced F-22 was delivered in 2012, and 183 F-22 aircraft are currently in service with the U.S. Air Force. Lockheed Martin received a $7 billion five-year contract to maintain the USAF fleet of F-22 Raptor stealth fighters in December 2019. The F-22's configuration is designed to meet VLO criteria, key features including a trapezoidal wing, whose angles are repeated on other surfaces to reduce radar signature, canted fins, and internal weapons bay. The F-22 Raptor has a radar cross-section of 0 0.0001 meters squared. It is similar to that of the F-117 Nighthawk stealthy ground attack aircraft and B-2 Spirit stealthy strategic bomber. However, the F-22 is a more modern aircraft. It was designed using far more advanced computers and has aerodynamic surfaces while maintaining stealth. The F-22 carries four AIM-120C medium-range air-to-air missiles in its internal weapons bay. These missiles have a range of 65 miles or 105 kilometers. It is likely that more capable AIM-120D missiles with a range of around 100 miles or 160 kilometers and better guidance will be used once these will become fully operational within the U.S. Air Force. Initially, the F-22 used the AIM-9M Sidewinder missiles for visual range air combat. Up to four of these missiles can be carried. Eventually, these were replaced by the next generation AIM-9X missiles. These missiles were integrated in 2016. F-35 Lightning II The F-35 II Joint Strike Fighter is a stealthy, supersonic multi-role fighter. Developed by Lockheed Martin Aeronautics Company for the U.S. Air Force, Navy and Marine Corps, and program partners from the North Atlantic Treaty Organization and U.S. allies. The single-seat fighter was designated the F-35 Lightning II in July 2006. The JSF is available in three variants. F-35A, a conventional takeoff and landing aircraft. F-35B, a short takeoff and vertical landing aircraft. And F-35C, a carrier variant. The generic F-35 is a configuration similar to that of Lockheed Martin's own F-22 design. However, it is slightly smaller and has one engine. Aircraft with a single engine is less expensive to produce and service, but at a cost of reduced weapon load and performance. The F-35 exploits stealth technology, which reduces its radar cross-section and makes it harder to detect for radars. The F-35 multi-role fighter can perform on air defense missions, close air support, and tactical bombing. It can carry up to two air-to-air -air missiles and two air-to-ground weapons in its internal weapons bay. The F-35 fighter is compatible with the AIM-120 AMRAAM, AIM-132 ASRAAM, JDAM, JSAW, Brimstone, WCMD, MBDA Meteor, and some other missiles. Additional missiles, bombs, or fuel tanks can be attached to external hardpoints. Wingtip pylons can also carry the AIM-9X Sidewinder short-range air-to-air missiles. However, external weapons are carried at the expense of being more detectable by radars. Northrop YF-23 
The Northrop McDonnell Douglas YF-23 is an American single-seat, twin-engine, supersonic stealth fighter aircraft technology demonstrator designed for the United States Air Force. The design was a finalist in the USAF's Advanced Tactical Fighter Competition, battling the Lockheed YF-22 for a production contract. Two YF-23 prototype air vehicles were built. The YF-23 was stealthier and faster, but less agile than its competitor. After a four-year development and evaluation process, the YF-22 was announced the winner in 1991 and developed into the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor, which first flew in 1997 and entered service in 2005. The U.S. Navy considered using the production version of the ATF as the basis for a replacement to the F-14, but these plans were later canceled. The two YF-23 prototypes are currently museum exhibits. The YF-23A was an unconventional-looking aircraft with diamond-shaped wings, a profile with substantial area ruling to reduce aerodynamic drag at transonic and supersonic speeds, and an all-moving V-tail. The cockpit was placed high near the nose of the aircraft for good visibility for the pilot. The weapons bay was placed on the underside of the fuselage between the nose and main landing gear. B-21 Raider in 2014, a long-range strike bomber project was launched by the U.S. Air Force to acquire a successor for the B-2. In 2015, the design submitted by Northrop Grumman was selected by the U.S. Air Force. Furthermore, Northrop Grumman produced the previous B-2 Spirit bomber. Development and assembly of the first bomber began in 2016. The new bomber received official B-21 designation. The new B-21 Raider is a more modern version of the B-2 Spirit. It has smaller design, however, it is a new aircraft rather than a modified version of the B-2. In 2021, there were reports that two B-21 bombers were being built and are ready for testing. The B-21 was publicly unveiled in 2022. First flight was made in 2023. It is believed that the new bomber will reach initial operating capability during the next few years. It will form the backbone of the U.S. long-range bomber fleet alongside the older B-2 Spirit, B-1B Lancer, and B-52 Stratofortress strategic bombers. The bat-like B-21 Raider was developed to attack Russian and Chinese targets of highest priority with nuclear weapons. This bomber is made of a composite material with a radar-absorbent honeycomb structure. It also has a special coating which provides much of its stealth. It was designed using far more advanced computers than the B-2, and on the first look has more aerodynamic surfaces while maintaining stealth. This stealthy bomber can carry new weapons, including nuclear-tipped stealthy cruise missiles such as the AGM-158A JASM and extended-range AGM-158B JASM-ER. NGAD The Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD, is a highly classified and secretive program of the U.S. Air Force to increase lethality and ensure air superiority. A sixth-generation fighter aircraft will form the centerpiece of the network-connected NGAD family of systems. It will be complemented by multiple manned aircraft, loyal wingman-style unmanned aerial vehicles, and advanced command, control, and communications systems. The USAF flew a full-scale flight demonstrator as part of the NG-80 program in September 2020. The modern sixth-generation fighter jet is expected to replace the F-22 Raptor fighter aircraft beginning in 2030. The USAF intends to initially procure 200 NG-80 fighters and 1,000 unmanned collaborative combat aircraft, assuming the use of two CCA platforms for each NG-80 fighter and another two for each of the 300 F-35 fifth-generation fighters. The NG-80 fighter aircraft will be deployed to conduct counter-air missions. It will perform air-to-air -air strikes as well as attack ground-based targets to provide air superiority for the joint force. The detailed design and specifications of the aircraft have not been made public due to the classified nature of the program. Well, that's all, friends. Thanks for watching. Write in the comments which stealth aircraft you like the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.